The next example I'd like to show is called the Hypertext, and it was published by Eastgate Systems in 1997. Eastgate is the only commercial publisher of literary electronic fiction and nonfiction, and they are certainly trying to be a commercial publisher. If we look at the CD-ROM jacket that we descend, which is the name of the novel, comes in, we see on the back it has an ISBN, it has reviews, and additional information on the inside. They're definitely trying to compete within the book publishing market because it comes in a physical CD-ROM jacket. You have an ISBN on the back, you have a review on the back, you have reviews on the inside, and it fits quite nicely on a bookshelf. We Descend is by Bill Bly, and even though it was published in 1997, Bill was writing it in the late 80s, before the web came out to the general public, which was 1994. It was written before the web, using a system called StorySpace, which in some ways was a direct ancestor to the web. As I load this, and we see the cover page, and then load the title page here, notice that because this was written before the web, the authors and the publisher felt a need to explain certain techniques and how the software worked. So things like links are explained as a selection of text, which when clicked using something called a pointer, brings up a new window, which is explained, of text. Things that we might be quite used to by now. And this information is described in the manual here, but also within the work itself. We can click on directions and it will provide information on how to use the hypertext. You'll notice, though, that when we get to the title page, which reads, We Descend, Archives Pertaining to Edgerus Scriptor, Volume 1, rendered into hypertext form and with forward and afterward by Bill Bly, we get something that looks a bit like a table of contents, but these items are not underlined, what, like we might expect normal links to be underlined. But if I use a key combination on my keyboard, press certain keys at once, certain items are outlined. And these outlines indicate the presence of a link to additional information. So I can go to the foreword, for example, like so. This convention is partly because StorySpace was developed before the web, when different conventions developed, such as underlining links and making the blue or making them a special color. But in addition, in the case of literary hypertext, authors do tend to take more control over the visual display of their work. Still today, many writers of hypertext omit underlines in links. First, because they believe that it breaks the flow of reading. So if you're in the middle of a paragraph and you see a link, you might be more likely to click on that link rather than finishing the paragraph. In addition, it might overemphasize certain phrases which comprise the link so that if you have a very carefully balanced work of poetry, a big underline underneath a few of the words might throw things out of balance. We Descend is a fictional archive of personal notes, collected research of a fictional historian who is researching a politically dangerous topic. The archive is huge. It takes many hours to read and days to process. You read it, walk away, come back, try to make sense of the material, figure out who the characters were, just what happened to them piece together what it was that was so damaging to the current regime that the government of that time tried to repress all knowledge of this information. But in addition, you're presented with certain doubts. So some of the information might possibly be a forgery, might not be attributable to that particular author. And you have this whole layer of scholarly discourse pertaining to these archives. Note, by the way, that because it is an archive, everything in this story is said to have already happened. Before I move on to the next example, I'd like to note that works like We Descend, which are written in hypertext software such as StorySpace, are part of a dual agenda. The first is to make new kinds of art possible, and StorySpace was specifically designed for that purpose. But it's part of a tradition that has a far greater purpose. People who are working on hypertext aimed to absorb and surpass all prior forms of human communication using electronic tools. And we can see that spirit in works like We Descend, which are artifactual fiction and present these information tools in a fictional setting. 